tried so hard to stay away from it, but I couldn't. I went to the Sephora sale. In my mind, I was probably already gonna buy this anyway, and it's on sale right now, so like, why would I not buy it? So that gave myself the excuse to try all the things I've been wanting to try. But let me give you a haul. Okay, first, I caved. I bought the Summer Fridays thing. The lip butter bomb. I think spending $20 on a chapstick is absolutely insane. But did I do it? Yes. Yes, I did. Everyone's been talking about this and saying that it's so worth it, so I was like, okay, fine. Really wanted the brown looking one, but then of course it was sold out. So I decided to settle and get this one. And this one smells really good, but it's clear. And I feel kind of dumb that I just spent like $20 on like something clear, but it smells really good. Okay, next I've been wanting to try this for so long. So I'm like, let me get it while it's on sale. The Positive Light Under Eye Brightener by Rare Beauty. I got it in light medium. I have the beauty filter on, but my under eyes are so dark, very hollow. And I also hate wearing makeup every day. Like that's just not possible for me. This is apparently kind of like a happy medium. Like I can put it on with my fingers, but it's not like fully concealer. So I really hope this actually works. Next thing I asked the Sephora employee, I'm like, what is your favorite brow gel? And she told me this one. I've seen people use it on TikTok. I'm not a huge fan of like the pff, laminated like brow look, you know what I mean? It made no sense, but I don't like the over laminated brows. I wanted something that was actually gonna hold my brows in place because I hate when they move around. And I have this Anastasia one that does not move my brows at all. Like they stick in place, but I'm almost out of it. So I'm like, well, let me try something new. I went back and forth for so long between the Rare Beauty or the Makeup by Mario contour stick. I decided to settle on the Makeup by Mario one. And this is literally always sold out. So I was so happy to get it in person. Got it in the shade medium. Hopefully it looks good. Lastly, I got the little Huda Beauty like mini powder. Could not decide between this one and the one size powder. The Sephora employee, again, she was awesome. She was like, no, you need to get this one. She's like, both are really good, but I'm obsessed with this one. So I'm like, okay. Also, my mom has been raving about this powder for so long, specifically the pink one. And they have this in a mini. So I'm like, okay, I'll get it because I didn't want to like buy a full size and then hate it. It literally looks like blush. I also really wanted the one size setting spray, but they didn't have a mini size. The full size is like kind of big and I'm like I don't know if I'd like it and if I didn't like it I didn't want to spend all this money on it it's a very realistic haul because I could have went fucking crazy but I knew that wouldn't be good for me so I only got things that I genuinely wanted to try for a really long time were recommended to me by the Sephora employee you got me let me know if you guys want a video of me trying all the products yeah bye